News 8 Sarah Cody introduces us to a vibrant vet from Berlin and an organization whose mission is to serve those who served. This is no ordinary home improvement project. The digging and drilling, a show of gratitude. They're really, really. For a very special 92 year old man. It, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, really. All I can say is they're fantastic. Gene Pulaski is a member of the greatest generation. That's me. A Marine who is training for a ground invasion of Japan in 1945 when the country surrendered, ending World War II. Rome, that's oh, the yeah. Pope Pius. Oh, yeah. It's me over here. Right there? He traveled the globe, growing from a boy into a man. We shipped to Mediterranean. We were out there for six months. I was out there. That was 1948, July. We were out there when Israel became a state. He returned to Connecticut, became a tool designer at New Britain Machine, and married Ramona, the love of his life. I called her Butch. She called me Butch. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he bought this Berlin home in 1960, the place where he would welcome his three sons. That's my son, Larry. Pulaski lost his wife to Alzheimer's in 2012. Living alone has had its challenges, especially when he had a hip replacement in June. I know there were things that had to be done, and I kept saying, nah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we all say. It'll, it'll do. That's where the Connecticut chapter of House of Heroes stepped in. They know what they're doing. And stepped up. Our mission is to recognize, honor, and serve military and public safety veterans and their surviving spouses for their sacrificial service to their na to the nation. Executive Director Dennis Budin says the organization provides one day of house projects for no cost. It, it's terrific. We wish we could do more. Pulaski represents the perfect recipient. We're going to replace his deck. We're going to make his home safer and more accessible, and it's the least we can do. With fewer worries on the home front, Pulaski can focus on the important things like his grandchildren and his golf game. He's also occupied by memories. Remember those like they were yesterday. Of a time that was all about teamwork, honor, and bravery. If I had my life to live over, I don't think I'd change a thing. I'd do the same thing all over again. In Berlin, Sarah Cody, News 8. This graphic from the National World War II Museum shows how quickly the greatest generation is actually disappearing. 16 million American men and women served in the Great War. 348 are dying each and every day. 10 years from now, only a handful will be left. Finding a meaningful career after leaving the military can be very difficult. That's why the Vets Rock Hiring Expo was held recently. News 8, a proud sponsor of this event, aimed at giving service members, veterans, and their spouses the tools they need to navigate the tough hiring process. Our own News 8's Tina Dattel has more from Mohegan Sun. Hey, good. Good. good, how are you, my friend? Seeing old friends and meeting new ones, the fifth annual Vets Rock event at Mohegan Sun provided a one-stop shopping of sorts for veterans looking for work and wanting to learn about what services are available for them. Take a look, um, we'll, we'll, you'll, you'll get an email and we'd love to have you in in December. Absolutely. Have a great man, thank yeah. you, great week. Hiring Our Heroes brings together employers like Pepperidge Farm, which are looking to hire veterans because of their talent, training, and strong work ethic. I think a lot of it comes down to the discipline that's offered in the service. There's a lot of interesting things out here. There's a lot of tech jobs. I'm hoping to get something in calibration electronics. Anthony Madison served in the Air Force and Connecticut National Guard. There's nothing uh, better for me than to know that I show my kids how to serve. He signed up for Save a Suit, so he has the right outfit for when he lands his next job interview. I want to get a sharp, clean image for these companies coming in. I'm not as small as I was when I was uh, in the military, so it helps. A big part of this event is the Veterans Village, which features more than 50 organizations which provide services for veterans. We provide uh, assistance with uh, VA benefits and service-connected 
disability claims. Guardians of the Purple Heart pick up where the VA leaves off. They recently surprised a Vietnam veteran by paying off his new roof. We've helped another Vietnam vet replace the boiler in his house. Serving those who have served our country. Killfoot Clothing, it's veteran owned, veteran operated. Every person that works for the company is a veteran or they're still serving. Brent Walker, the owner of Killfoot Clothing, also founded Guardians of the Purple Heart. In Uncasville, Tina Detell, News 8. Helping veterans heal from injuries, both physical and emotional. Coming up, how a wounded warrior is giving his fellow veterans a safe space and a sense of community. Plus, heroes take flight, the mission to honor them and help bring them closure. And the reason why vets are teaming up with experienced anglers out on Connecticut waterways.